Last time we got our profile picture displaying and now this button here to navigate to our profile actually works. Now let's work on getting the information from Firebase database and populating these fields. So it's going to be very, very similar to what we did in the profile fragment where we uh, went and we got our Firebase database reference here and then we set the profile widgets by using the method get user settings from the uh, Firebase methods class here. It's going to be essentially the same thing. So let's actually copy all this Firebase stuff here inside of profile fragment, go back to account settings activity and let's post that stuff down in the bottom and it's gonna be a whole bunch of red because none of this stuff is in here, that's fine. Let's go back to profile activity and scroll all the way to the top. We're gonna grab all this stuff here. Scroll up to the top. This is the this is all the Firebase stuff. Um, we, yeah, we're gonna need all that stuff. And what else? We're gonna need to, so we got those um, set profile widgets. That method does not exist yet, so let's just comment that out. And yeah, so that should be good. Now we can actually um, start setting up all of our widgets here. And I can't remember if I put a progress bar in this screen, the account settings activity. So let's take a look. Uh, let's see, layout. Doesn't look like there's a progress bar, so we don't have to worry about a progress bar. Oh, you know what? I just realized I'm in the wrong location. <laughs> um, this is actually, this is the account settings activity. I, we want to be in the edit profile fragment. Okay, so I actually grab this stuff, this Firebase stuff, and we're gonna go into the edit profile fragment, and that's where we're gonna paste the Firebase stuff. And let's go into the bottom, and we're gonna grab all that Firebase stuff that we just posted in here, grab it all, cut it, let's go to the edit profile fragment, and post post that down there. So that's this, this is where we wanna be. Okay, so now, inside the edit profile fragment, we can start declaring all of our widgets, and basically just getting ready to set up all the fields that are inside of this this fragment. So we'll go up to the top here, and I'm just gonna set a section here for edit profile fragment widgets. And so let's start typing these out. Edit text, uh, the display name, uh, the username, we got website, we got description, we got uh, email down at the bottom, and we also got phone number down at the bottom. And we're gonna have a text view for changing the profile photo. So that's gonna be um, this right here, this text view change photo. So private uh, text view, oops, text view. Change profile photo. And we have our circle, uh, we should have our circle image view, not our image view for the profile photo. I'm surprised that was actually working. Um, weird, because we had it set as a, unless, unless I, yeah, it's weird, it was working and it uh, was actually using an image view, not a circle image view, but anyway. Um, and that should be, it should be good. So let's go down into on create here and let's attach all these widgets to their appropriate IDs. So display name equals edit text view find view ID r dot id dot oops r dot id dot display name and the user oops and username equals edit text view find view ID r dot id dot username but I want to actually double check that uh, that's actually the field name so Let's go into edit pro the fragment edit profile. So fragment edit profile. And we need to go into snippet center edit profile. So snippet center edit profile. And let's see here. So let's change photo. That is gonna be the username, which, oh, that's a layout, sorry. Uh, so that's icon. This is your name, username, yep, so that's good. Um, let's see, where's the display name? That's just display name. So it looks like I just named them all lowercase with underscores in between each letter. Uh, website is just website. Okay, so let's go back and carry on here. So we have website next. We'll just edit text, view, find UID, or ID dot website, and description, view, find UID, or ID dot. Oh, view, find UID, or ID dot description and we got profile photo which I already got so e oops email equal 
Let's add a text view ready or ID dot. Probably just email and then phone number. Edit text view from the art ID dot probably phone number. And then the change profile photo. That's gonna be also that's gonna be a text view this time. And view find view ID art ID dot change profile photo. Okay, so there is our widgets. Okay, so now let's just see if we can really quickly get the information. So we're just gonna go down to our setup Firebase auth method here, and we want to uh, retrieve the information from the database just like we did. So uh, we're gonna need a set profile widgets uh, um, method just like we had before. So maybe I'll just copy that too. Let's go to set profile widgets right here, copy that. And let's paste it. We'll just paste it right here. And we're gonna actually comment out this set profile image method because we're gonna be pulling it from the database from now on. So let's comment that out too. And let's get rid of everything that we don't need. Display name, and we're gonna add a few things that we do need. So email, set text, and that's gonna be, that's gonna be user, uh, get user, get email. And we need to get, uh, what else, phone number, oops. Phone number, set text, it'll be user settings, get user, get phone number. And I think that will be good actually, because we got the four fields and then those two. This is angry um, because it's a long, so we're gonna do string dot value of that long value. And that'll be good, so set profile widgets. Uh, that's cool, we can comment these out. We'll just uncomment those if we need to debug. I want to comment those out too from profile fragment and that should be good. So um, what I need to do now is actually nothing. I think that's probably good. We have our set profile widgets method here. We're using our get user settings method, which it was exactly the same as in our profile fragment, the exactly the same kind of method we're using right here. And the only difference, the only difference between profile fragment and edit profile fragment regarding how they're pulling the data or what data they're pulling is these two fields right here. That's it. Because if we look at the screen, we have these four fields, which are the same, and then we just have these two extra ones down here. That's the only difference. So that should be actually good. <laughs> Famous last words, that should be good. Uh, let's just do the setup Firebase auth here, and that, that should be good. Like I said, again, famous last words. Let's run it and see if we get any errors. All right, to the profile, and click on edit your profile, and it crashed. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Okay, let's see what is going on here. Uh, wrong emulator is selected. Okay. It's saying on a null object reference. Uh, get user settings, data snapshot on a null object reference. That would mean to me that the data snapshot is null. Um, hmm. That, or maybe I forgot to initialize the Firebase method. So let's go up here, and yep, there's no Firebase method, so I can do Firebase methods equals new Firebase methods, get activity, and I bet you that was the problem. So let's rerun that. A Little bit of debugging, as always. Never runs the first time. Okay, back to the profile, and go to edit profile, and there we go. Okay, so let's take a look. We got our image coming through, we have the uh, username, we have the display name, website and description are empty, as expected. But ooh, look at this, we have a problem with the email. It looks like it's unable to pull the email. Phone number is zero. So let's take a look at the database here. And which, I think it was, it was this user. That's the one we're signed in with. So here's the email, it's clearly there. And the phone number is actually one. So there is definitely an issue here. This video is still not too long, so maybe I can debug this really quick. Let's go to our app, and we're gonna do the exact same thing to debug this one as we did with the previous one. We're gonna to go into the set profile widgets method here, and we're gonna uncomment this, and the issues that we're having are with the email, so we want to get user, get email, and I also wanna see the phone number. So let's go get user and get phone number. And just take a look and see what's actually coming through here. We'll get our Android monitor ready to go. The log isn't showing what I want, okay. Go to the profile, and go to edit your profile. 
and let's see what comes through here. Okay, so right there we have a null value coming through for the email, and we have a zero coming through for the phone number. So there's definitely a problem there. So we know it hasn't gotten that far. So that means we go back. To, we're going to go back to um, which uh, Firebase methods, and we're going to take a look at our method here, and let's take a look at this log right here. So retrieved user information. Let's let's look for that and tr check out the information that we get from that. So let's type that in there, and you can't see anything for some reason. So that's probably the problem. So this log never gets run, meaning this if statement never gets run. Oh, I think I know what it is. I think the if statement here is actually, yeah, that's why. Okay, so this if statement uh, catches the user account settings key, and we can see that it's in this if statement is inside of it. So that's obviously a problem. Uh, this, this bracket we need to remove, and we need to close it outside of the catch here. So now that way this stuff is contained in that if statement, and then this stuff here is kind of contained in its own if statement. So now if we run it again, it'll work, and I'll show you the log and show you. So that's this is this is what it's all about. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to need to debug. And uh, just printing out the data snapshot, printing out the keys, taking a look, seeing what's wrong, that's how you got to do it. So here we go. Now we, it's doing what we expect. It says, okay, it iterated. It got to user account settings. In that same, this is, so this is, uh, this is one iteration of the loop. This is the second iteration of the loop. And in both cases, it, it printed out the key. So that's good. And if we look at the app, now we're getting, we should be getting our information. So there we go. Cool. So now everything is working as expected. I will um, probably leave all the debugging in here that I did just so you guys can see once again. And uh, what are we going to do in the next one? I think now that we've got the data coming through in the edit profile fragment and also in our profile, uh, next we're going to have to work on uploading images. So we're going to work on this, this tab right here. So I'll see you guys in that next video.